Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, people ask me questions all the time. How did you learn everything you know about computers and technology? Uh, just by trying it, jumping right into it and having at it. That's how I discover things, getting my hands dirty. Well, hopefully not too dirty. I try to keep my mouse as clean as possible so I can click over to emails like this one that came in earlier today from uh, one of our community members at large. I was wondering if there is a possible way to create another recycle bin for another hard drive. Not a shortcut. Thanks if you answer this. And uh, the answer to that question is, uh, I don't think so. Not like I've ever seen something like that. However, uh, I'm not exactly sure why you're asking this, but I will tell you this. In the, the recycle bin or recycle icon, if you right click it and go to properties, you can decide to change each particular drive independently. So you can choose to keep 10% of your C drive available for the recycle bin and maybe 20% of your D drive uh, for all the items in your recycle bin. Uh, that's one way that you could sort and, and actually adjust on a drive per drive basis. I don't think you're going to get around the fact that there's only one recycle bin built into Windows. Then, of course, you've also got sorting options. So if I go into uh, the recycle bin, I can choose to sort by file path if I want to add that particular field or the original location of the file and of course I can sort by C, the D, the H, I have an H drive and then of course I can also right click and group by original location, date deleted, type, etc. So there are ways you can kind of get around that. Now, uh, here's another, I don't know if this is really what you'd be looking for necessarily. The recycle bin at its core level is nothing more than uh, essentially it's a folder uh, that instead of just deleting files immediately uh, you basically when you delete a file it's thrown into the recycle bin that you can then pull out uh, at a later date if it's of course still in there when you want to recover it. Um, what you might consider doing uh, for a second recycle bin is just create another folder. You can call it Recycle Bin 2. You can call it whatever you want to. You can even give it a different icon other than the regular folder icon. And for whatever reason you want to have the second Recycle Bin, you can then just move the files from wherever they're at. Uh, instead of deleting them, sending it to the Recycle Bin, the real Recycle Bin, you can just move them into this folder, essentially your second Recycle Bin, even though it's not really a Recycle Bin, it's just another folder. Because the Recycle Bin is just that. It's a folder. But instead of it being a folder that constantly grows, the recycle bin is a folder that only, well, as I pointed out, keeps a certain percentage of your hard drive, which you can adjust, uh, either making it larger or smaller. And then, uh, you know, as more data comes in, the old data moves out. So it's a different kind of folder, that particular recycle bin, the default recycle bin. So there's a few options that you might consider doing. Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure why you needed a second recycle bin, but I'd like to believe that at least one of those suggestions would help you find the answer that you were looking for. The recycle bin is, uh, yeah, it's not you know, incredibly flexible, but I've never really had an issue with it. Uh, it's saved my bacon a few times, I can tell you that. I've deleted something only to realize later, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have deleted that, or where was that? Uh, where, where, where did I put something? Oh, it's in the recycle bin. Uh, but anyway, um, that, that's those are my ideas, uh, some recycle bin tips and tricks for everybody out there. If you've got a recycle bin uh, idea uh, it, for this particular person um, in terms of creating a second recycle bin, suggest away. Or if you have any other recycle bin tips, uh, do you use a secure recycle bin, uh, an add-on from a third-party program that doesn't come with Windows, at least outright, when you purchase it uh, for the first time? Or, you know, if you uh, uh, just buy a, a computer off the shelf or build your own and use a default install of Windows. There are companies out there with software that create secure recycle bins, meaning that when the data is deleted, it is deleted, and you can't get it back. That is true deletion, not just recycling environmentally friendly. Oh boy. Speaking of environmentally friendly, I better wrap this video up. You're welcome to swing by our chat room, which is also very environmentally friendly. We're very green. We recycle every single electron that passes through the chat room window. Uh, and you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night, if I'm not in front of the computer. Well, a lot of people certainly are. Let me tell you, they always ask when I'm away, where's Chris? Where's Chris? Well, my question to you is, where are you? Why haven't you stopped by our wonderful little website? 
and they've already typed in the URL. That's where you got to go. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.